few companies in mobile have had as difficult a recent history as Yola. But in the words of co-founder Antti Sarnio, Yola is here, Sailfish is here, and we are going to stay. I'm Michael Fisher with Pocket Now, here with a quick look at the company's Sailfish OS 2.0, running on the Intex Aquafish and the new Fairphone 2. Sailfish has always had a very beautiful interface, and that's evolved nicely in 2.0. The awkward left and right swipe interactions on the home screen have been replaced by simple taps, while the focus on one-handed usability remains. You can access certain menus just by dragging down on the screen, and the notification area, instead of being placed stupidly out of reach on the top, is just a swipe away on the left side of the home screen. Version 2.0 runs very smoothly and consistently, too. I tried it on a Snapdragon 801 and a Snapdragon 212 and couldn't tell much of a difference in performance. The latter hardware forms the basis of the Intex Aquafish, an entry-level device targeted at the Indian market and priced at a very competitive 100 US dollars. Much more interesting was seeing Sailfish 2.0 running on the Fairphone 2, though, the responsibly sourced modular smartphone introduced last year. We saw one of the company's representatives replace the Fairphone 2's display in less than 20 seconds here at MWC. She then proceeded to basically disassemble the entire phone in less than a minute, highlighting just how easy it is for an end user to upgrade its individual components rather than buy a whole new unit. Now, despite the upbeat messaging of today's event, it's hard to characterize the Yola situation as hopeful. The company wants to push Sailfish as a platform for e-commerce and government use in BRICS countries. It's still poised to become the official mobile platform of Russia. And on consumer devices, it's offering so-called super apps, direct plugins that make certain market-specific applications more obvious, but which feel suspiciously like bloatware. It's possible Sailfish can survive and even flourish in these niches, but we're a long way from the hopeful vibe of last year's MWC, where Yola had a new tablet, a big booth, and a bombastic attitude. This year, Yola is a company still trying to recover from a near total implosion. Even for the custodian of such a promising software platform, that's a tough road to hoe, and we'll be watching closely to see what happens in 2016. There's still more to see from MWC 2016 in Barcelona, so be sure to subscribe here on YouTube and follow all the breaking news at pocketnow.com. Till next time, this has been Michael Fisher, Captain Two Phones on Twitter. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.